Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and put some materials and some lighting on our scene, and uh, we'll set it up for render, and we'll probably also fine-tune the particle settings a little bit. So let's start by selecting both of our glasses, and we're going to add a Arnold glass material to this. So select both of them, right-click, and select Assign New Material. And we're going to use our Arnold AI Standard Surface Material. And then select that material and name it glass. And then click the presets button and select glass. And then let's add our standard Arnold light setup, the sky dome light and the directional light. scale that light up a little bit so you can see it better if you want. Give it some rotation. And then we can either turn on Arnold in the viewport here, or you can open the Arnold render view if you'd like. And it should look something like that. If this is a little bright for you, select the sky dome, and we can turn down the exposure a little bit. Now your glass is not going to give any shadows because it's completely clear. If you want your glass to give some shadows, then you need to select one of them, go to the material, and under transmission, knock that transmission down to maybe 0.98. And then you will get a shadow on your glass. It will make it a little less clear, but you will get shadows. And now let's see what the water looks like in action. I'm going to go ahead and push play and let my animation run a little bit so that I can see the water actually pouring out of the glass. I'm going to turn off Arnold while I'm doing this and I'm not going to make you watch me. I'll come back when it is in place. Okay, so I've stopped my animation. You can see that this is where I am. We don't want our water to look like a bunch of particles, so we're going to change a setting here. Select the Bifrost Liquid Container, come up here and find the Bifrost Liquid Node, scroll down and find Bifrost Meshing. Open that up and click Enable. And that creates a mesh out of your particles. And then let's turn on Arnold Render and see what that looks like. And that looks pretty good, but we can make it look a lot better. So come to the Bifrost Liquid node, and we're going to find resolution here. And we're going to change the master voxel size from what it is to 0.2. And then let's go back and turn off the meshing. And drag our playhead back to 1. And then we're going to render the skin, but again, I'm not going to make you watch me do this. I'm going to um, turn off Arnold and advance again so we can take a look and see what changing that voxel size did to it. So this took forever to get to this point. I only played 118 frames and it took me probably 10 minutes. And you can see though that the water uh, has a much higher resolution. We get a lot more droplets and things like that. Decreasing the voxel size is like adding more pixels because a voxel is basically a three-dimensional pixel. That's what, uh, what we did. Another thing you might notice here is if you look, my particle simulation is going down way below my plane. So what that means is any, any pixels that or any particles that escape down here are have to uh, have to be simulated and calculated and so we really don't want that we want to confine the simulation to the space where we are so we're going to do uh, a couple more things and hopefully we can get this thing to render one of the one of the things i want to do is create what's called a kill plane so i'm going to create a plane and i'm going to scale it up i'm not going to make it as big as this one And the purpose of this kill plane is to catch any particles and keep them from escaping 
the simulation so the computer doesn't have to, uh, you know, continue to calculate them. I'm going to take this kill plane and put it just below our ground plane. And then I'm going to select my Bifrost liquid container and my kill plane. And I'm going to come up to Bifrost fluids and select kill plane. And that made that new plane I created into what's called a kill plane. And it should kill any particles that touch it. And so the next thing I want to do is, I think, decrease the uh, resolution of my voxels a little bit. So I'm going to find that um, that Bifrost liquid container, this resolution here, and I'm going to make that maybe 0.35. And I hope that that will uh, make it easier for me to get this thing to play. So I'm going to play it again and try to reach a point where I can take a look at it and I'll come back in just a second. So here is where I am right now and this is a good place to be. I want you to notice a couple of things here. Since we added the kill plane just below our just below our ground plane, the simulation box is not going down as far as it was. It's not going down beyond the kill plane and that's the function of the kill plane. And let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this. We don't need to turn on meshing again unless we just want to see what it looks like in wireframe which we can do. But if we have it off and we render our render view you can see that we can get a good look at it anyway. And that looks a lot better than the other one. We could probably make it look better by making it 0.3 by making the voxel size 0.3 or 0.2 but that just took so long, so long. So I think I'm going to stick here. I want to, the one other thing I want to do though, I want to select the Bifrost liquid container and right click and assign a new material. And the new material we're going to assign is an Arnold AI standard surface shader. And we're going to click presets and select clear water. And then when we do a quick render on screen, you can see that that has a dramatic effect on the appearance of our water. And so now when we come back, I'm going to show you how to render this into an animated video. And I'll see you then.